I don't even know what the thing is called. I think it's called Cookies. Uh, it was $20. It was the less expensive vape cannabis option at the place 4115 Olympic, South Olympic, West Olympic. That's sort of trouble. It's, it's Olympic Boulevard. And I can't remember the name of the store, but it's 4115 something Olympic Boulevard. And um, <clears throat> the flower was really good. The wax isn't bad, but I'm tired of my terp pen. I need a better rig, but there, you gotta spend 70 bucks to get a good rig. Wah. I haven't had any edibles in town yet. Now, here's the thing. It's 9, 9.30 in the morning. I am doing various things in terms of self-care. I know that sounds like a joke, but seriously, because my lower back hurts, but I have done things to make it less of a problem. But I'm going to need to go to a dispensary again later. And I'm tired of driving. I want to use the public transit system. The other thing that's on my mind is that I'm still kind of, I got that song, It Never Rains in Southern California in my head because I don't entirely know what I'm doing. And yet, at the same time, the first line of that song, got on board a westbound 747. Didn't think before deciding what to do. <laughs> now, I know a couple people, not like, I'm not saying I know that they can help me. I don't know. But I just, I don't know absolutely nobody. I, I but I, but more than that, even maybe it's more like I, I did right. And it turns out it's like close to an hour, 45 minutes, whatever. It, I did write something. And it is something that I can do. And it's not terrible, all of it. And He's, yeah, all that talk of opportunity, TV breaks and movies rang true. Well, I'm not doing it for that reason. I need work. I want to do certain things. There's, yeah, but it, there's something about that song where I'm like, what happened to the guy and why did he do the thing? And it, it seems a little overly simple, although maybe that's the point. It's like if you really don't even have half of a clue of what you want to do and you come here because this is a place where there's things to do then you're going to be in trouble but i have half of a clue and i'm all right with that for now we'll see how that works down the line in about 10 days or whatever but um David and David, the song, A Rock for the Forgotten, says, um, <clears throat> he's the quiet type, he came to L.A. to write, but he never made it out of the fringes, keeps a low profile, kick him, he'll smile, thinks blood is his payment for losing. Well... I have already written not as much as some people. I grant you. I grant you that. I totally understand that part of it. But I've written before getting here. I think that's the funny thing is I came to L.A. to write. Now, did he write anything before? If somebody comes here thinking they're going to have the... But the, the thing is, I, yeah, it's weird. In May... I could write in Oklahoma. In June, I could not write. Circumstances oppressed me. It made me feel like 
I'd better take care of myself by not putting more of myself out there, even if it's only on the page. But that once I got here, I'd already written enough to have something to go far, forward from, right? Uh, okay, well, anyway, I'm just talking about that because it feels like I'm going to face struggle. But I'm not as completely incapable uh, or as ill-fitting as some might be. It'll depend on what I run into, how I go about it, et cetera, et cetera, what kind of luck comes into play. Also, one last thing. Uh, Velvet Underground. There was some whimsy to those songs that only once in a while shows up in Lou Reed's solo work, but the way it shows up in the Velvet Underground it seems to have a little more power behind it, like on the song beginning to see the light. There's so many things he says in that where it's like, it's a whimsy level in spite of suffering that is powerful. That isn't maybe discussed that much because of the hit element. Though those with a true love, and I, I am fond of them, but I don't know that I have the same kind of obsessive love of Velvet Underground as some people, but it, those with even the kind of appreciation of them that I have will understand, I think, what I'm getting at. Um, in the meantime, peace out.